you know, there's this story that's going on right now, and you could see it in all walks of life, is that it's the it's the same sort of sort story that we see a lot. Um that the system wronged me or wronged certain aspects of what I represent. And it doesn't matter what side that you're on, put a quote unquote what side that you're on. But there is a sort of general generalized belief that, you know, the system's not working. We need to sort of overthrow the system that to, 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 to change it, right? We need something fundamentally different. It doesn't matter who you talk to, there's sort of a general consensus to that. There's just something fundamentally flawed. I get to argue that that's a little bit unsaid. It's first <laughs> We don't know what we actually are, right? And it would be really nice to change everybody collectively. But that is a very challenging, difficult thing to do that is unlikely to actually happen. And rather than change everything or say, you know, a lot of times I've been listening to this I'm not going to say who it is but you know somebody was saying that that they were wronged uh, by academia that the whole university system uh, in the particular university they went to was Harvard University that you know it's it's completely flawed in terms of how things are done um and you know that 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 we need to change everything and then we're going to throw everything out um, and restart from the beginning. Now, it's fascinating because once you actually start getting into it and you see how things are actually done, you realize it's this extremely complicated thing. You can't change it that quick. And you also realize that if you um, try to change things rapidly, that almost all of the stuff that you want to implement does not work and kind of, you know, you, you kind of get um, often the egg on your face if anybody tries to do that, right? So, you know, what is it? How do we actually change this? How does it actually work? Well, you have to repeatedly keep working at making a little bit of progress all of the time, but then also have a tremendous amount of humility with who you are and what you're doing is just say, hey, you know what? This is just goofiness. And um, let's just do our day-to-day. -day. The only thing I can affect in my day-to-day -day is just who I am and what I'm about and try to smile through some of the things that happen. Yeah, there's there's things in the world I do not agree with. And I'm going to tell you that right off the get-go. But then when I start thinking about you know, how do I do this, right? What do we, how do we make these changes? I start thinking, I don't know. It's the best that we have. It's not great. It's the best we have. And, um, you know, so we have to work within those particular constraints. And so then what we have to come to terms with is not necessarily that the system is flawed and, you know, that, that you were wronged and all of those sort of things that you go through. And and I'm going to tell you this, everybody thinks like, right, we all do, including me. We all think that, that that there's a lot of flaws. We'd love to change it, you know, from, from you know, efforts of making things more inclusive or exclusive, however you want to say it, or, you know, doing climate change, um, issues to having more productivity um you know all of those sort of things that you think about is that they're all hard problems and um you know one way to think about them is they're kind of paradoxical that there's both sides are right and they both make sense um and so what do you do in that circumstance that's where you have to work on yourself and say you know I'm going to do the best I possibly can in any given day, and I'm going to smile through all of this. There's a lot of things that you simply cannot change, nor do you really want to 
because the world is extremely complicated. And it usually means if you sort of, you know, you go down those routes and, and you start thinking about like, hey, I just want to, you know, I was wrong. The system's flawed in this particular aspect. It's because you don't know, know, understand everything, right? Or, and maybe you do understand everything, but you just don't have the resources at your fingertips to make these particular changes. And so the world is going to be extremely complicated. There's a lot of flies quote unquote flaws, but then there, there's also a lot of tremendous benefits, right? To actually sit down and have this conversation and to think about that, that is, that is an incredible benefit that other people simply cannot possess, right? Most people are dead, um, that have ever existed. The vast majority of, of the world has died before you. Uh, if you look at the millennials of, of human existence. And then on top of it, um, having that thought is extremely privileged to even begin to have any of those particular thoughts. Because not everybody thinks like that. First of all, no, not everybody had those experiences for you to come up with those particular ideas. But as well is that you are actually thoughtful. Right? Many people experience the same thing every day. Right? Many of us, for millennials, walked on rocks. And it wasn't until one day somebody looked at a rock and said, hey, I think we can melt that rock and turn it into bronze. And that's a privileged position, right? And we could sort of say that that is, you know, that's... A, that all of the people before that were flawed, you know, they had all these problems. But the truth is, is it's a privileged position to even think about this and to have those thoughts. Um, so we need to start being more pragmatic in terms of our day to day and what we can actually do. You can't change everything. That's kind of crazy. Um, but also you know, we have to start appreciating the day-to-day -day and realizing that it's a privilege to do any of this stuff. I think in my head, I'm like, yeah, I want to change everything and flip everything upside down and, you know, make all these positive changes. But then I think, well, my day-to-day -day is just very simplistic. I go and do work. I talk to people on the internet, building platform, um, you know, on the day to day, I'm actually not doing the coding. I have a wonderful team that's doing this. Um, but, but at the same time, I can't change all of those things. And so I need to know to be as practical as possible how to actually do this. But at the same time, realize that this is an extremely privileged position that nobody else had before. The fact that I get to talk to you and there's somebody that's listening that I don't know, and then I don't need to spend millions and millions of dollars to build this infrastructure of talking to you, or the fact that, um, you know, even a short 100 years ago, most of the number of people that I'd be talking to is one or two people and be living in a farm. And I'm going to be talking to maybe my neighbor, maybe a few neighbors. That's it. So I live in a privileged position that I'm extremely grateful for and at the same time extremely pragmatic. I want to make some change. I would wish that I can get the reciprocity project working. But at the same time, I know I live within the constraints that I have and I'm just going to slowly keep chipping away at it and realizing that it's a privilege to keep chipping away at it. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.